So let's say you launch a ball at ground level. It goes up and it goes down. It follows that trajectory. And let's say you launch it at some angle theta. At what angle theta will we get the maximum range that the ball will travel? The range is the horizontal distance that this ball is going to travel. So how can we determine the angle at which we're going to get the maximum range for this projectile motion situation? Now, some of you may know intuitively this angle is 45 degrees. But what we're going to do in this video is we are going to calculate that value using calculus. So we're going to start with this formula. The range is equal to v squared sine 2 theta over g. So this formula gives us the range as a function of theta. Now, just a quick recap of some lessons in calc. Let's say we have some function f of x. And it's a curve that looks like this. So at this point, we have a local maximum. Whenever you have a local minimum or local maximum, at that point, you have a horizontal tangent. At the horizontal tangent, the slope is 0. And the derivative function gives you the instantaneous slope at any point along the curve. So the derivative of f of x will be 0. So that's how we could find the point at which a maximum occurs. We need to find the first derivative, set it equal to 0, and solve for the variable that we're solving for. In this graph, this will be x. But for this one, we're solving for theta. So the range is the function. The range is like the y variable. Theta is like the x variable. So what we need to do is we need to differentiate the range with respect to theta, set it equal to 0, and solve for theta. The angle that we get, that's going to be the angle at which the maximum range of the projectile will occur. So to differentiate the range with respect to theta, this is going to be dr d theta. Now, because we're differentiating with respect to theta, the velocity and the gravitational acceleration, they will be held as constants. So we can rewrite them as constants, and we're taking the derivative of sine 2 theta. So if you watch my video on the derivatives of trigonometric functions, you know that the derivative of sine is cosine. Using the chain rule, we're going to keep the inside angle the same, and then we're going to differentiate the inside angle. The derivative of 2 theta is simply 2. Now, we're going to set the derivative equal to 0. And we're going to solve for theta. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by g over 2v squared. The reason why I'm doing that is so that v squared will cancel, g will cancel on the right, and the 2's will cancel. Now, 0 times anything is 0, so this becomes 0 is equal to cosine of 2 theta. Now, let's take the arc cosine or the inverse cosine of both sides. Arc cosine of cosine, these will cancel. And for the most part, we'll get 2 theta. Now, the arc cosine, or the inverse cosine of 0, is 90 degrees. And you can plug this in your calculator. If you make sure it's in degree mode, you'll find that cosine of 90 degrees is 0. So now to get theta by itself, we need to divide both sides by 2. And so we can see that theta is half of 90. It's 45 degrees. So that's how you could show that at an angle of 45 degrees, if you're dealing with a leveled projectile motion problem, 
where it doesn't start from a building, but the, the ball leaves from the ground level. For that type of situation, where the trajectory looks like this, the maximum angle occurs at 45 degrees. I mean, the maximum range occurs at an angle of 45 degrees. But at least now you know the process of how to find that angle using calculus.